Healing through technology, an artificial bone at a time. Coming to life first on a screen, the UT College of Veterinary Medicine takes an image like this of a dog's skull. Then using three-dimensional printing, veterinarians can create a model you can hold in your hand and study. Here's a time lapse as this technology creates a canine tibia. Yeah, I mean, on an everyday basis, we visualize things in three dimensions. Orthopedic surgeon Kyle Snowden says 3D technology is changing veterinary medicine. Here they demonstrate the system, first drawing up a power T on screen, and then the printer will need about 50 minutes to make it. When veterinarians are able to use this technology to replicate bone structure, it allows them to rehearse a tricky surgery. And we maybe only have, you know, a tenth of a millimeter between having a good outcome and having a poor outcome. I want to try to do that surgery, you know, a couple times before I actually do it on the patient. And so 3D printing gives me that option uh, without causing any pain, any significant trauma to, to the patient I'm working on. Veterinarians also use this technology to correct limb deformities in animals, illustrated here by this dog's left leg. Using 3D printing and model building, surgeons were able to correct the bone structure, shown in the next photos. Before this technology, vets relied on x-rays and CT scans to plan treatments, but those only gave you two dimensions of images. 3D printing gives you new information about the injury and the surrounding delicate tissue. UTCVM also trains veterinarians, and experts believe use of 3D will become a standard practice for future vets. And so having the ability to actually hold the bone and to feel the little bony prominences and all the anatomical landmarks uh, can just, you know, aid in that learning process so much more. Look for UTCVM to expand use of 3D printing and these helpful models. When you can create a better understanding of a problem, see it and touch it before going any further, that will likely improve the outcome for the patient. This is Charles Denny reporting.